do 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 so, hey guys, it's me, Thomas, and today I'm going to do a review on Despicable Me, another of my favorite movies ever. So, yep, I'm going to explain reasons why I like this movie, and it's a review on Despicable Me, so let's start. At the beginning, uh, the, the people were going to the pyramids on, like, a bus or a car, and then uh, they got off and had s the food, I think. And uh, then uh, someone was taking a picture. And then uh, and then a character named Justin went up onto a, a pyramid in Egypt. And then all of a sudden, uh, some uh, guys were chasing him. And then he fall. And then the pyramid was broken. That was hilarious. And then it was on the news. And then Gru appeared. And then a boy was crying. And uh, Gru cheered the boy up. And wanted a balloon. And I think uh, the boy was crying. All because of ice cream was melted. And then Gru was uh, freezing things and people. And it, it was singing the Despicable Me song. That was hilarious. And then, what else? And then in one scene, uh, I saw Gru had a dog. Uh, and after the after Gru was talking to a man, and it was on a clip called, I'm having a bad, bad day. And that was, like, on Despicable Me. And then... Uh, Margot, uh, Edith, and Agnes went to Gru's house and went on the door, and they was and Margot was saying cookies for sale, and then Gru said go away to them, and I was like no offense Gru but they can come in whenever they want to. He was saying go away I'm not home, <laughs> but. Uh, and Margot was like, yes, I heard you. And then Edith pulled a funny face and Gru was uh, jumped to about it. And then uh, Edith kicked the door and the girls left. And then uh, Sable the Minions, uh, that was a good scene. And, and it's like the Minions first debuted on Despicable Me in 2010. And if you're wondering what year Despicable Me came out, it came out in 2010, when this when uh, the 2010s decade started. Yep. And then the minions were joined up all together, and Gru was uh, talking, and uh, the minions uh, in that scene they had an Eiffel Tower in that one, but it was made out of plastic. And you know Dr. Fidalio, he is like Gru's father. Yep, Dr. Fidalio is uh, Gru's dad. And he, Gru's dad looks like 60s or 70s or 80s or whatever. He looks old to me. And when Gru saw Dave uh, doing something, he was like, Dave, listen to that, please! Uh, and that was hilarious. And the first time I watched Despicable Me was like... I watched it since uh, 2014 I first saw this movie. I was like uh, seven years old when I first watched Despicable Me. Yep. I turned seven on the 26th of December 2014. Because I was born on the 26th of December 2007. And I am 13 years old. And, uh, and Despicable Me is also awesome. And, uh, it was also in my 13 years, uh, life. And 
I saw, and I didn't saw Despicable Me, the first movie in the movie theaters, is because it came out in 2010, and I was too little to go to the movie theaters. I had to be older to go there. And I never been to the movie theater before. The first time was in 2017, when I saw Despicable Me 3. And then in the box of shame scene, uh, the girls came to uh, and saw Miss Hattie. And then uh, Agnes says, says uh, did you adopt us while we were out? I mean, uh, Agnes said, anybody come to adopt us while we're out? And uh, Miss Hattie was saying this. Hmm, let me think. Let me think. No, that scene was hilarious. And that was the same video and from my video called uh, Is Tinky Winky Get Shot? Uh, and Dipsy get shot funny and I was using that clip from Despicable Me and I do believe Tinky Winky get shot and Dipsy get shot are, are both scary and I would ne and I am not going to watch Tinky Winky get shot or Dipsy get shot I don't want to see Teletubbies get shot pictures or videos in this year I don't want to be scared of these pictures for this year at all I just want to take a break of that. And then Edith put a mud pie on uh, Miss Hattie's desk. And then Miss Hattie comes off the chair and set it. Edith in all caps. Look at my face. And I was like, oh my goodness. I meant to say uh, that Miss Hattie shouted at the girls saying, look at my face. And then said, is it a great sale day? And I was like, oh my goodness. And then Gru wanted to, to build a rocket and uh, wanted a shrink ray. And uh, Gru might uh, want to get the moon. That will be so hilarious if he does that. And then a man, uh, I don't know who his name is, uh, he was... Uh, sat down by, uh, he was talking and chatting to Gru, uh, after, and then he said, there is a lot of villains out there, younger than you, and young, hungrier than you, and he said, uh, like, Vector, which Vector is, like, Vector is a villain, uh, from Despicable Me, and when I saw him, I was like, oh my goodness, he's uh, a bad villain. Yeah. And then Gru got uh, his rocket, and uh, then uh, who got uh, um, uh, the shrink ray? And then Gru got the shrink ray uh, in his rocket, and then all of a sudden, uh, Vector was riding on his something, and then... Uh, he stole the shrink ray for no reason at all. That's uh, stealing. You're not allowed to steal stuff. And then all of a sudden, Vector got the shrink ray and shrinked uh, the rocket uh, small. And uh, Gru was like, oh, I hate that guy. And then uh, Agnes... Uh, the girls uh, were in bed and going to sleep, and Agnes was sing singing about unicorn like this. And the girls didn't want uh, the bed bugs crawling uh, into the girls' ears, and uh, Agnes wished uh, for uh, a pet unicorn, and Agnes was singing this. I'm a unicorn, I am a unicorn. That song was good, and then, uh, and then all of a sudden a rocket was, uh, a f then, uh, Gru was, uh, flying, and there were fireworks, and then all of a sudden Gru's face got dirty, and he was coughing. I was like, oh my gosh, what just happened to Gru? And that was, like, that was, uh, like, 
grew was a bit dirty. And then uh, the girls uh, appeared again. And then Gru was saying, light bulb. That was a good scene. And I'll talk about the rest of them. And then the girls went to Gru's house. And then uh, the girls uh, explored the house. And then uh, Gru's dog appeared. And and I know the name of Gru's dog. It's Kyle. Like Kyle from South Park. And I know all the rest of the bits in the movie. And then I saw that a minion was drinking hel- helium. And then all of a sudden the minion was flying and going up. I thought that minion was going up to the m- and into heaven. But it, the moon, the minion was going up to the moon and leaving earth. Sorry guys, back what I'm saying. And uh, I know the rest of the bits in the movie. And Gru, uh, when the girls went into the into a place, uh, Gru said, "Get back in the kitchen." And the girls uh, didn't want to be in the kitchen. And then all of a sudden, uh, Edith accidentally uh, burnt uh, Agnes's unicorn, and Agnes wanted a new one from the fair. And then later on, uh, the girls went to dance class. And after, before that, the minions went shopping. And then uh, in another clip, uh, Gru took the girls uh, to the fun fair. And then uh, the girls rided uh, on a roller coaster with Gru. And Gru was uh, scared of that roller coaster. And then they went off the roller coaster and then... By and won a new unicorn for Agnes, and I know the rest of the clips. You might know the rest of the clips from Despicable Me if you watch this movie. If you watch this movie, you know what happened, and I know what happened. The, my favorite part in Despicable Me is the roller coaster part. That was so hilarious. And then uh, maybe soon in a few days. Uh, the girls have to leave Gru's house and the minion was crying all because maybe two reasons. Number one, the one minion was shrinked and two, uh, the girls uh, left and going back into a home that were adopted. And then in a few days later, a day later, I think Gru just went to space uh, and then Vector landed on the pylon. And I also like pylons. And then Gru just went to the moon and shrunk the moon. And then Gru was like, I got the moon! And then before that, Agnes refuses to leave Gru. And then, uh, like, and then Gru just went to the moon and shrunk the moon. And then went back to Earth and see what's going on. And when I saw the girls leaving Gru's house, I was, like, sad. And when I saw Gru going to the moon, that was so... That was a good scene. And how the way he shrunk the moon was hilarious. And if he shrunk the moon, we can't see the moon now. And you can't even see it. It's too tiny. And then I think the girls decided to go back to Gru's house and then have another story. And Gru told uh, the girls about one big unicorn. And that was funny how Gru got his nose through that hole. And thinking the nose is the horn of the unicorn. (laughs) That was a funny scene. And then the story ends and then Gru was kissing the girls. And that was a happy scene. But Gru didn't kiss the girls uh, in Three Little Kittens in the first story. He said, no, 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 there'll be no goodnight kisses. And he closed the door. And that was a sad scene. But the second one, it was good. The second story at the end was good because the Gru was kissing the girls. That was hilarious. And said, a goodnight kiss. And then, uh, and then Gru... Mm-hmm came out and then he saw the minions and the minions wanted kisses and then Gru wanted to kiss the minions as well and kissed almost every single minions. That was a good scene. 
And then at the end, the girls were dancing and dressed up as ballerinas, and they were singing, dancing, dan- dancing, at the very end of the movie. And then after that, the end credits appeared. And I give Despicable Me a 10 out of 10. It's an awesome movie. So thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.